Hey guys, in this video I wanna share with you five CNC beginner mistakes that you're gonna to wanna to try to avoid as you start out in the CNC world. Mistake number one that you're gonna to wanna to try to avoid is the mistake of being fearful, which then leads to hesitation. So let's break this down into two points. The first point is don't be afraid to purchase your CNC. Now, quick disclaimer here, I'm not telling you to purchase the CNC or to not purchase the CNC. I'm not telling that you're ready financially or not. That's really all up to you guys. You're gonna have to make that call on your own. You know your business model and you know your finances. So with that being said, don't be afraid of purchasing your CNC. You may even have it in the shopping cart, but fear is holding you back. Don't let fear hold you back from what could be. Some of the things that may be holding you back is the fear of, of the unknown, right? You don't know how to use a program. You've never used a CNC like this before. It's a big investment. Those are actually very legitimate fears and that's okay, I've had those too. But let's consider a few things. I think the most important things to consider are, what is your short-term and long-term goals? And can the CNC help you achieve, first and foremost, your short-term goals? Could it help you speed up your process? Could it help you shorten uh, your lead times? Things like that in the short term. And then also considering long-term goals. Can this catapult you to now achieve or start moving towards those long-term goals that you have? Do you have bigger dreams and aspirations? Can the CNC help you with that? The second point on this first mistake of fear is that fear leads to hesitation. I can speak from personal experience that once I had my CNC built, I hesitated because I was afraid of failure. I had my CNC built about three weeks before I even started playing with the program Carbide Create and started trying to even do any sort of CNC work. Why? Because I was afraid of failure. I was afraid to fail. I had material that I was using that I was wasting. It's money that I'm wasting because I don't know the program. But realistically, guys, the more I failed, the more I learned. And I had to learn quickly because I was using my materials. And so those types of things, wasting material, is a driver that made me, at least, figure this out. So to summarize mistake number one, don't be afraid to purchase your CNC, again, if you're ready to purchase it. And also don't let fear hold you back from learning your machine and don't be afraid of failure. Mistake number two is not building the correct size CNC table and not building a table that can be modified for future adjustments and for future add-ons to that table. Guys, you purchased your CNC, now you're waiting for it and you're just excited that you're gonna build a CNC in a few weeks. But what you're not thinking at that time is that once I have my CNC built and it's up and running, I want to add on to my CNC table. One of the things that you're going to want to consider adding on to your CNC table is an enclosure to control all the dust that's flying around in your shop. One of the things that I didn't consider was this specifically. I have my CNC edged up to one side or one edge of the table, allowing me to have a lot of space on the other side for my shop back and some materials that maybe I'll use for future projects but because I'm so far to one edge, I now can't build an enclosure. I have to do some adjusting, I have to move over my machine, and it may seem simple, and it probably is, but again, going back to point number one, I'm afraid of moving something because if I even look at it the wrong way, it's gonna mess up, it's just gonna fall apart, I know it. Think ahead when you're building your CNC table. Think about the enclosure that one day you're gonna be wanting to add to it. Moving on to mistake number three, Mistake number three is not purchasing enough end mills to build or make the things that you wanna make. When you purchase your CNC, you're probably gonna get a free end mill, maybe a quarter inch if you get a Shapoko. Realistically, that's not gonna build everything for you or make everything for you. What I found out quickly is that I needed some V-bits, some smaller end mills, some sm a smaller collet to fit those smaller end mills. And those are things that, I, again, again, I didn't plan ahead or didn't do the research. I do a lot of rustic flags and what I should have done is, since I do a lot of rustic flags, what do I need to be able to build that rustic flag once I have my CNC set up? So whatever it is that you're making, what is it that you need? What end mills do you need to be able to make that? The free end mill or the bit that goes into the router when you get your CNC, the free one, that's great to learn on, make a few cuts on. What you're gonna quickly realize is that you're gonna need some more end mills to be able to achieve whatever it is that you, that you build or make right so think about that ahead of time do your research now as you purchase your cnc and get the end mills that you need to be able to make what you what you're going to make mistake number four guys is making software choice a big issue there are some people that are the, of the mindset that you need the latest and greatest the best of the best software from the get-go you're eventually going to move there, maybe, perhaps, but you may not. 
I'm of the mindset that you just invested a thousand dollars or more on a CNC give me a break for a second let me start off with this free software that comes with my CNC let me learn some of the lingo let me learn some of the basics of moving resizing vectors things like that creating toolpaths and then eventually as I grow in my business and my knowledge of CNC I'll eventually upgrade to some of these up you know some of these uh, more expensive softwares that can allow me to do more things. I built a lot of rustic flags guys and the Carbide Create free software has allowed me to build a lot more things that I previously was not able to do without the CNC. So I don't need the, the more expensive stuff right away. And eventually as my business grows, yeah, eventually that is the goal to, to expand to a better system. You're gonna wanna try to avoid getting into that mistake. If you are able to purchase one, great. Go ahead and purchase the latest and greatest. If not, you're able to do a lot of the things on the free software such as Carbide Create. The fifth and final mistake that you're gonna to wanna to try to avoid is kind of piggybacking off the first point of fear. Don't be afraid to perform maintenance on your CNC. I know what it's like, you just got it built, you're ready to go, you've been building for a while, but if you just look at it right, it's just gonna fall apart. If you touch it the right way, it's gonna fall apart. I get it, I'm afraid of that even to this day. But let me give you an example. I was V carving some great stars on my rustic flags and some nice letters, but all of a sudden they started kind of getting kind of ugly and kind of wiggly and they just were not crisp. And I was trying to figure out what was going on. I thought maybe my spoil board was all messed up come to find out it was a simple fix of just tightening my belts but I was afraid of performing maintenance on my CNC because I thought that maybe if I touched it wrong it would fall apart I wouldn't be able to figure out how to put it back together don't be afraid to perform maintenance on your CNC machine you're gonna build confidence you are able to put things back together you built it so you should be able to fix some of the issues here and there are a lot of people out there that are willing to help you figure it out all right guys so that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you were able to take something out of it. And if you did, please consider subscribing, liking, and hitting the notification bell. We're coming out with videos every week to help beginners like you. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.